Because coffee is not a thing that a person needs to have a good life. So the Great Depression had a more dramatic effect in Brazil. Washington Luis government faced a deepening balance of payment crisis and the coffee growers were struck with the non-sellable harvest. Since power ultimately rested on patronage, wide-scale defections in the delicate balance of regional interests left the regime of the Washington Luis vulnerable. Government policies designed to favor foreign interests exasperated the crisis as well, leaving the regime alienated from just about every segment of society. Following the Wall Street Bank, the government attempted to please foreign creditors by maintaining convert rate according to the money. Principles which are by the foreign bankers and economists who set the terms for Brazil's relations with the world economy, despite lacking any support from a single major in Brazilian society. Despite the capital flights, Washington agrees to do a hard money policy. Aside from the depression and the ruin of the Brazilian currency, Brazil's historic dynamic of the regional politics was a significant factor in current the alliance that Getúlio Vargas forged between the new urban centers and the landowners hostile to the government in states other than São Paulo during the revolution of 1930. Along with the urban workers groups, northeastern sugar barons were left with a legacy of non-standing grievances against the police of coffee or the barons of the south. Northeastern landowners bitterly opposed the Washington Luis 1930, discontinuing of the draft products of his predecessors. These tensions, however, can be traced back very early. The decay of established sugar liberties of the Northeast began dramatically the severe drop of 1877, and with the rapid growth of coffee producing some all state was the fifth slide of the single coin. Under the old republic, the politics of café culture rested on the domination of the republic's politics by the southeastern states of São Paulo and Minas Gerais which was the Brazil's largest states in terms of population and richness. 
The first presidents of the Republic were from São Paulo and thereafter succeeded by an alternation between the outgoing governors of the two leading states in the presence. Because of this, Minas Gerais was traded. Given the grievance with the ruling regime in the northeast Rio Grande do Sul and Minas Gerais, was created the Liberal Alliance opposition, leader Getúlio Vargas chose his vice presidential candidate in 1930, João Pessoa of the northeast states of Paraíba. With the understanding that the dominance of the landowners in the rural areas was to be absolute under any alliance government, the Northeast oligarchs were thus integrated into the right element in a subordinate start of the new political party. However, behind the facade of Vargas. Vargas Populis lies the intricate nature of coalition ever change from this point one more. Consequently, dislocation, domination, regional groups affect the Gaúchos of Rio Grande do Sul and the sugar barns of the North. Dinsel ushered the new urban groups in the forefront of Brazilian political life in a revolution for about tinted the balance of the central government in favor of the liberal alliance. So the population began in Rio Grande do Sul, a military revolt, and after this Vargas took the power. <laughs>